I first got involved in refereeing when I was back in England uh, in a place called Ashby de la Zouche in Leicestershire. Um, I was doing my end of year sports degree and I wanted to get some coaching qualifications and refereeing qualifications to kind of build my subject knowledge in different sports for being a PE teacher. And I went to my local rugby club to get some mentoring for my level two coaching. And they advised me to go on to do my refereeing level two to get more knowledge of the laws. Um, I did, and I got put in touch with Leicestershire Refereeing Society. And they kind of picked me up straight away, gave me a coach. And at first I knew nothing. I was a very unconfident referee, new to field, never played rugby. I was a gymnast growing up, so nothing involved in rugby. And I'd only go and do coaching here and there at the rugby club. So it's brand new. And then as I kind of developed, I actually saw, my mum sent me a link to uh, an article with Holly Davidson in. So when I saw her and I saw how far she'd come, that she was international, travelling the world, I was actually in awe. I was inspired by it and I kind of realised it isn't just a hobby, I could actually make this a journey and progress further and take more opportunities. So I started in Leicestershire Society and then when we moved up to Scotland, so we did a move location up to Scotland, I knew we were moving so I kind of did an initial year while I was in both societies, travelling up occasionally to come do Scotland games and kind of get a feel for the different type of game, different type of players um, and it was really good fun and then when we moved up here they kind of they knew who I was already from that and um, took me on, had a coach and they kind of got me progressing quicker. Uh, I think my first year up here I did the bowl uh, competition, so it's quite nice to now do the national plate. Um, it's like a progression, seeing where I was and where I've kind of come to. Once I kind of got involved in refereeing in Edinburgh, I wanted to see what was behind the scenes and get more involved in actually the process of getting more female referees, because it was always a shock going, oh, I've got a female referee today. And it was uh, a nice shock for everybody uh, on the field when it's like, we've never had a female. So, Definitely, I wanted to see behind the scenes, get more people involved in the game. Um, so that's why I became a committee member in the, being the secretary. Uh, I've run different programmes, so in terms of sprinting programme for fitness and um, to help like referees improve their fitness. And also to build like a team atmosphere. So in a referee, you can be quite solo at times um, when you've got your clubs of 15 and then you're the only one on the field, it's quite nice to build a family. So we've got working groups now where you have your little pod and you've got them for the year, any questions, any help you need. And so we're trying to build that support network and that's something that we have done this year as a committee. Well, my first encounter with Alana was at the training session, um, the annual training session we have, which held at Megatland. And after the event, once she'd found out that I was head of coaching, she bounced up to me. I'm talking about just so much energy asking me how do, I, how do I work this, how do I improve, how can I make myself better uh, and it was always about this you know self-improvement um, and you know continuous personal development is something I really approve of uh, and I think you know from from that point of view she made herself known to me um, but through the work that she was doing um, in the society through work as a secretary I thought I'm going to spend some time with her I'm, you know if, she, if she's willing to put in the effort if she's willing to put in the time and I can see progression between sessions, then I'm willing to work with Alana to make that happen. Well, I got a phone call from David Drummond um, and Johnny Cocaine, who's the president of Edinburgh Society. Um, I got Johnny's first and it was a shock. I was sat on the sofa having a movie night and um, it was definitely a shock winning the award. I uh, didn't expect it, didn't even realise I was even up for nomination or could be nominated, if I'm honest, because there's so many people out there in the rugby world who give so much to the sport already. I didn't think I was anywhere near up there just yet. I'm still quite new to the sport. Um, but yeah, so it was definitely a, a shock, but it was a proud moment. I was chuffed um, at being able to have that award and my family were also shocked, but again, proud of my achievement and that actually hard work pays off and it's kind of motivated me even more to just do even better and keep going, keep training, keep having more um, events and getting more referees involved, especially females. I'm really trying to get female recruitment up and I will continue to keep trying that. You know, her, her, um, her contribution to the society, what she's done for us, what she's done for bringing people together, um, bring, you know, work, working. I mean, Alana, if, if you've ever seen her fixtures and appointments, she, she, ref, she referees on Saturday mornings, Saturday afternoons, Sundays, anything available, you know, Alana will put her hand up and say, yeah, I can do this, I can help that. And um, she's just wanting to help all the time and bring us together as the community. 
I would encourage people to be involved in rugby just because of the social aspect. It is enjoyable. If you think, oh, you know what, my knees are knackered from playing rugby, actually, you can go into refereeing. You're not going to get tackled every weekend. You're actually going to be able to run and referee and be a part of that game. See your old friends that you've played with, or if you're new to the sport like I was, you build new friendships pretty quickly within the game. Um, and they all start to get to know you and have a laugh with you and get you involved in like events. So Livingston Rugby Club always invite me to all their events and stuff because I live locally to them. So it's nice to kind of build that network.